everyone will say this for early stage investing, you know, the, the founders matter a lot. Uh, idea is important, but who the people are matters. But I guess the way that we look at founders and founder founder competencies and what does someone actually need, not just in terms of can they do it, but motivation, what is going to make them want to do it for years, like get up every day and like work hard and because it can be really hard. These are kind of things that we think a lot about now, almost like an interview process for founders. In terms of finance and FP&A for companies, this is maybe a bit of a controversial view. I know there's a lot of people out there kind of saying, how do you build an all-in-one so that even startups at their earliest days just have like a system that can do finance for them and uh, maybe help them plan at earlier stages of the company? I, I actually think there's something to be said for having people do something manually or in a very hands-on way especially when things are changing quickly, to really understand what are the drivers of the business, what really matters and what doesn't. And so for any startup that's less than, let's say, 50 people or less than Series B, doesn't doesn't really have a, a not just a, a growth stage kind of scalable motion, but really a, a very repeatable motion where it makes sense to have bottoms up planning and things like that. I personally say like use spreadsheets, but focus more on what matters for the business and like nail that 